to show you how Dream Factory can be used to call stored procedures from a generated database API. So uh, in this example, we are going to query a, an API that is backed by a Microsoft SQL Server uh, instance. And the database which we will be querying is the commonly used Worldwide Importers database. This database was created by Microsoft as a, a test bed for querying tables and executing stored procedures and so forth within your SQL Server database. And it contains all of the information that you might come to expect um, to be managed by a, uh, an importing uh, company, including customers, vendors, products, and so forth. So um, regardless of the type of database API generated, you're going to find an endpoint um, called underscore proc. Right, and if I go ahead and query this endpoint, it's going to return a list of all of the stored procedures that are found in this database. Now, in this particular case, again, it's SQL Server. Um, when you generate the database API within the administration interface, you do have the option of specifying which schema you would like to be associated with the API. If you leave it empty, then the connecting user might have access to more than one schema. And as you can see here, uh, there are in fact multiple schemas. There's the application schema, the data load simulation schema, and so forth. So when you're querying a Dream Factory generated SQL Server API in which the schema has not been specified, you're going to um, prefix, in this case, the stored procedure with the appropriate schema. So again, using the underscore proc endpoint, we can retrieve a list of all available stored procedures. We can also pass along the ID of a particular stored procedure to retrieve um, information about um, the input parameters, the output parameters, and so forth. So if I press send, you'll see we're provided with the name, um, but also the input parameters. So there are two. There's the search text parameter and maximum rows to return parameter. Now, if I go ahead and execute the search for suppliers endpoint, which I'll do here, again, you can see we've prefixed the search for suppliers stored procedure name with the website schema and um, I'll just expand this a bit further. We are passing in two input parameters, search text and maximum rows to return. And the uh, search text that we're going to look for inside the, the supplier company name is going to be research. And if I go ahead and press send, you'll see that sure enough, we have one supplier that has the string research in its name. And in this particular case, the stored procedure is returning uh, JSON natively. So there you have it in a nutshell. It's very easy to call a database's stored procedures by way of an API generated by Dream Factory.